Hi guys, so welcome to my first official YouTube video where I'm kind of sitting down and actually talking to you guys. So this is going to be a haul for spring break. I am going to Dubai. Um, I won't be necessarily wearing all these items in Dubai, but I picked out items for spring and you can also wear these items in the summertime as well. This is my first time doing this type of video, so just bear with me. Before we do begin with this haul, I just want to have a moment of silence for Jordan Woods. Rest in peace, honey. Rest in peace. Alright, let's just get started. So the items I'm about to show you are 80% from Pretty Little Thing. I love this brand. I mean, it's not the best quality, but I'm obsessed with their clothes. I can't stress enough how important it is to just measure yourself before you go on these websites and buy these items. So the first item I'm going to show you that I got were these snakeskin boots, which I'm just obsessed with. I mean, like, look at these. These are to die for. They go over the knee. They don't sell half sizes on the website. So I went up a size. Instead of getting a size six, I got a size seven. And they actually fit perfectly. I'll probably only be wearing these boots in the late springtime or summertime as well. Only because once I have an uh, outfit ID in my head, I kind of stick with it forever. So I only see myself wearing these boots with a mini dress tits out, super tan, curled hair, big hoops, Khloe Kardashian style. I mean, these boots are meant for a girl who has a bougie soul and I just have to say I cannot wait to wear these out. I'm so excited. It definitely takes a certain attitude to wear these boots. Okay, so the next item I have is this white dress. Um, I wouldn't say it's pure white, I mean, you can tell like the top I'm wearing right now is pure white and this is kind of like a cream color. Uh, this dress is double layered, so it has a second layer to it. It's not that see-through, but honey, let me tell you, this dress is still very see-through. Uh, I love the straps, they're super thin, which I like, it's kind of sexy, like when you put it on, your like, tits are pushed up against you, and then there's just like this thin strap, it's really nice. Uh, this is the dress I got with the snakeskin boots, because I just had this image in my head, and I think it's going to look good, so we'll see. But I do have a funny story with this dress. First of all, when I first got this dress, I got a size zero. That shit was so tight, even on me. I was like, I am suffocating. You can see my muffin top, my tits were out. It was just bad, but I still wore it out. Don't get me wrong. So I wore it out and all I can say is, like, you cannot grind on any guy with this dress on. I am dead ass when I say that. So we went out, I came, like we woke up the next morning and like we're packing all our stuff and I look at my dress and I look at the back of this dress. I shit you not, my whole ass area was black. Like everything on the dress was pitch black. It had like this rubbing like you could just it was bad I mean yes I was grinding on a guy and literally he was wearing black pants and literally it just went on the entire dress um, and I didn't realize it until the next morning and that shit had me and my best friend rolling like it was so funny like I cannot this time around I got a size up I got size two so if you're gonna get this dress, go a size up. All right, so I am super excited about this top. 
So it's a satin tube top and you get to tie it up in the front, which is awesome. It kind of gives you a uh, room to play around, especially if you have bigger boobs or smaller boobs, you can tighten it depending on what size boobs you have. I love how it's a satin material and I love that it's black because I love everything that's black. Uh, I got this in a size zero, so I just want to let you girls know most of the things that I got are in a size zero. Only because that's just my size. Like I said, I really recommend you measuring yourself and looking at their size chart because their size chart is very accurate like it really is so just do yourself a favor and do that I have to say I'm really disappointed with how this came in the mail so this is the top it's like a white like slinky material <laughs> top and it it's kind of loose for a size zero only because it comes with this, which you kind of like, basically you wrap it around and then you tie it and you tighten it. Um, I did not know it was going to show up like this. I mean, it's no big deal. Like, yes, I can tie my shit. But I just, that's the one, it's just like one of many things that can happen when you're ordering off of a website like this never know how it's going to come in the mail. You really don't know. And the description didn't say that either. Uh, this is very see-through. Also, you will see your nipples in this. Trust me. Uh, you could wear a bra with this, but it just depends on how tight you're going to tighten it. So this is a skirt I got. It's a camo skirt. Uh, it has like these two flaps on the side. No, the pockets are not actual pockets. Uh, it's also super thin, like very cheap, thin material. Also, I didn't think it was going to look like this. I thought it was going to be like a cream color, like this color cargo, because that's what the picture shows. But it's whatever. I think it's still super cute. Am I still going to wear this? Hell yes. Anyways, I was going to show you these two swimsuits that I got. So this one is a two-piece, it's a reptile, so these are the bottoms. They're very high-waisted, and as you can tell, high cut. Um, I haven't tried these on yet, I can't wait to see how it looks, I think it's going to look good. The material is obviously very cheap, but it's double lined, and yeah. And then this is the top. That's the back. I'm not gonna lie, this looks kind of big for a size zero. Like it looks really broad. Do you see that? Like it, oh, like a square. Like I don't think it's gonna. It, this is gonna be very interesting putting on. The next swimsuit I got is a one piece, and I'm obsessed with it. So this is it. It's cut out in the front twice. Um. So I'm assuming my boobs are supposed to go right here on this tiny piece of material and I can already tell there's going to be a lot of under boob with this. I should have went a size up with it. So I got a size zero. But I'm obsessed. I would definitely wear this as a swimsuit obviously and I would wear this as a bodysuit because that's what I had in my vision. So it has two buckles that you can literally like unbuckle and then you can buckle back in again. I just think it's so fire. This is like me. This is my style. I'm very streetwear type of girl. So I'm excited to try this on. I also don't really like a full on one piece, so I like that it's cut out, which is good. Uh, I'm going to show you a bunch of tops I got, which you can easily mix and match with anything in your closet. Um, so I'm going to start with this 
tube top that I've actually had for a while. It's also stone color beige. So it's cut out on the sides and I'm obsessed with this tube top. It makes my boobs look great. So the next top is this white top. It's like a ribbed and then ribbed tank top, but it's a crop top. And then it has a huge like B to it. I wouldn't even call this a crop top. It's more like an under boob top. You do not, let me just say, this top for me is only meant for Instagram or pictures. Like I would never wear this out unless I was going to the beach and I had a bikini underneath. Otherwise, don't be lifting your arms up in the sky with this top because your tits will show. I'm just saying. Uh, if you want that, that's fine. We all have our slutty moments, so it's totally fun. Uh, Next, I'm really excited about is this black bodysuit. It's also a slinky material. Uh, the bottom you can unhook it and then rehook it. Okay. But I'm really excited about this bodysuit because the back is just, you guys, it's so sexy. Like, I cannot, like, this back is going to be so dope. And then I have this top that I got. Let's just, let me just try to, like, show this to you. So, it looks like this. I got it in a size zero. But to be honest with you, it has that material that kind of like cotton, like a ribbed tank, but for some reason it looks kind of too wide at the top for me. I'm thinking maybe it's just the way that it's cut, uh, but I have a feeling it might not be tight enough for me. Alright, let's see what's next. So I actually got this a while back. Uh, I already posted a picture of this on my Instagram, but you can't see the full outfit. But I do plan on wearing this in Dubai as a beach cover-up because I think it would look so nice and it has long sleeves. This is one of, so let me just first show you. This is what it looks like. This is one of their expensive items I would consider because it's actually good quality. So on the side it has a zipper to zip up. Uh, I also love how it has like the original white cuffs and the buttons. Uh, I love the collar. I love how the V is so deep and it actually, these, these are almost like pockets. So it might look like a big balloon like type of mess right now, but when you put it on it looks really nice. Uh, yeah, so I think it would really be a really nice beach cover because it's long sleeves and it's appropriate. And technically you're only supposed to wear a bikini on the hotel beach property anyways. And I plan on walking around and going to beach clubs and all that stuff. So I want to be appropriate at the same time. Next I have this skirt that I'm really excited about. It's another snakeskin item. So it's like fake leather, you know? It's not real, obviously. And it has a high shine to it. And I'm obsessed with the way this looks on me and it fits. I can't wait to wear this in Dubai. I plan on wearing this with the black satin tube top I showed you where you can tie it up in the front. Or I can wear it with that black bodysuit I got. You can literally wear this with basically any of these colors except for that orange. I would stay away from that orange. I would stay with... <laughs> I would stay with basic colors. I mean, you guys can probably tell by now that I don't wear any color. I stick to neutrals. It's just my preference. I don't know why, but I just do. I don't know. I like neutral colors. Alright, so these are the cargo pants I was just talking about. So, they do have an elastic waistband, and they are pretty stretchy. I got a size zero. And then it does have pockets on the side. 
on both sides. I don't know if it's a real pocket. Oh, it is, okay. Thank God, right? Because that camo skirt did not have real pockets. Um, for some reason, it has these metal tabs on it to close off, but there is nothing to <laughs> close it off on. So I wouldn't be putting any valuables in there because you will lose them. So, and then this is the bottom. They're like almost like a jogger and then it's stretchy on the bottom as well. So I did try these on and they're super comfortable. The only thing I gotta say when I say cargo from Pretty Little Thing, at least now I know, it is extremely thin. So I'm going to Dubai, I'll be okay. I was planning on wearing these in the desert, so it's not a big deal for me, but I wouldn't wear these in the winter time. Like you would actually freeze. It, it's really, really, really thin. I'm not gonna lie. But other than that, I'm really obsessed with these. I'm gonna wear these with, I'm thinking either one of those tops I just showed you, the white one I was talking about, or I kind of wanted to do a contrast color, like a neon yellow top. But you guys are gonna have to wait and see all my pictures from Dubai. And then I'm definitely going to wear these with a pair of Air Force Ones, like always, because I'm obsessed with Nikes. Or any sneakers that are white. I got these shorts, which I'm so excited about because I don't know why, but I'm obsessed with nylon. So it has like a draw, uh, drawstring on the front, and you can like tighten it. You can also loosen it. It's so stretchy look at that like literally look at that but I love it it's a nylon material was that annoying because I really hope so okay, I got this one piece from minimal animal I have been dying to get one of their pieces for a really long time I mean this makes me look so good I cannot stress enough how excited I am for you guys to see. Ooh, excuse me. I can't stress enough how excited I am for you guys to see me in this. It's gonna be dope AF. Like, just wait and see. So I also got uh, their two-piece black, like, basic bikini. I guess you can say. It's super tiny, as you can see. I'm obsessed. This is the perfect bikini for tanning. Uh, I'm definitely not going to be bringing the bottoms because the bottoms are a thong. Um, I got it for Miami, but it's perfect for the summertime, especially if you love to tan like me and to be really, really risky. Uh, this is it, guys. You gotta go on their website. The bottoms were $80, I believe, and the top was $85. The material is amazing, uh, but I can't really judge it yet because we'll see how the ocean takes it and the sunlight takes it. I'm hoping, since it's so expensive, that there will be no issues with it. Also, the two piece that I got are both extra small and the one piece that I got is an extra small as well. I got this uh, two-piece biker set, which I'm really excited about because neon is very in, as you can tell. So this is the neon yellow. These are the shorts. It's a very slinky material. It almost has a shine to it in person. And then I got the matching uh, tank with it. It's cropped as well. It's really loose-fitting. It's not as tight as I like, would hope it to be, but... It's all right, I can make it work. I can put a bra on. <laughs> I never wear bras, so it's like my thing. Uh, the only problem with this is that it's really see-through, so I would be really careful with what you're wearing or who you're around with. It's another story if you're with friends or, or let's say you're in Dubai, because there's no way I can wear this in the public. It's just too much. So that's it. That's everything I ordered for my trip to Dubai slash spring and summer items. Um, 
Comment down below if you have any questions on any of the items or any other items on the website because I've ordered off a pretty little thing for so long now, like years, literally years. So I know all the answers to it. Don't be afraid to comment down below and ask me. Uh, if you had any other questions, let me know. I do have to say I'm really excited about this trip to Dubai. I haven't been before and it's been on my bucket list for a while now. So I'm really excited. I will be making a vlog about the whole trip. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks for watching.